Hi dear student, this class uh, mainly I will concentrate on how to convert into unsymmetrical form of a line equation into a symmetrical form and a few more applications on different types of models I am going to discuss this particular class. So we have to find out the equation of the plane passing through the point 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 and a perpendicular to these two planes. Observe here, we have to find out the equation of the plane plane is passing through one particular point and that plane is perpendicular to this plane you can observe that means this is the plane because these two planes are perpendicular given right these two planes are perpendicular given observe the normal it is the my finger observe the normal my finger right now observe this is the normal Normal is there because normal means normal vector. Normal vector means free vector. Now this vector is on the plane or not? The vector is on the plane. So that's why. So one vector is there that is i plus 2j plus 3k is one vector on the plane. Similarly, this plane is also perpendicular to this plane means this plane normal also lie on this that is 2i minus 3j plus 4k clear once again we have to find out the equation of the plane passing through the point right and perpendicular to this plane our plane is perpendicular to this plane this plane now observe here perpendicular to the plane now observe here the pen is the vector pen is the normal to the plane normal means free vector it lie on the plane or not so that's what we got the information these two vectors are there on the plane and the plane is also passing through the point now the problem is over for finding the plane equation we have to take a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar now this is one vector a p bar this is another vector b bar this is another vector d bar or I can say this is one vector n1 bar this is another vector n2 bar now these three vectors are coplanar three vectors are coplanar means box is equal to zero box is nothing but the determinant that's why determinant of x minus 1 y minus 1 z plus 1 so the other vector is 1 2 3 and one more vector is 2 minus 3 4 determinant must be equal to 0 that simplification you will get the plane equation so another question is asking to find the equation of the plane the plane is passing through two points one point is 2 1 minus 1 another point is minus 1 3 4 and plane is perpendicular to x minus 2y plus 4z is equals to 10 we have to find out the equation of this plane plane is passing through the point 2 1 minus 1 and another point is there minus 1 3 4 at the same time our required plane is perpendicular to this plane perpendicular to this plane means this plane normal lie on this so that's why that normal is i minus 2j plus 4k so vector we got but these are the two points right this is the point a b and for finding the plane equation i am taking a general point on the plane whose position vector is r bar now the same this is one vector a p bar this is another vector a b bar and this is one more vector these three vectors are coplanar box is equal to zero that means determinant is equal to zero then what we will get x minus 2 y minus 1 z plus 1 x minus 2 y minus 1 z plus 1 now these two subtraction 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 minus 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 5 this is the vector 1 minus 2 4 determinant is equals to 0 you will get the plane equation So this is another question he is asking find the equation of the plane passing through two points. We have to find out the equation of the plane passing through two points 1 0 minus 1 and a 3 2 2. Plane is passing through these two points 
and the plane is parallel to this line. Plane is parallel to this line. Are plane is parallel to this line means along this line there is a vector or not? This is the vector B bar. This is the vector B bar, right? B bar. B bar is on the plane or not? Free vector. Once again, line equation given, right? Line equation given. Okay. Along the line there is a vector B bar. B bar. So this B bar is on the plane. So that line is given as, line equation is given as x minus 1 divided by 1 is equal to y minus 1 by minus 2 is equal to z minus 2 divided by 3. So along this line the vector is i minus 2j plus 3k plane is parallel to the line. Right? Along this line there is a vector that is b bar. b bar lie on the plane. So that's why we are getting i minus 2j plus 3k is a vector. This is one point, this is another point and p is x comma y comma z is another point. Now this is one vector, this is another vector and this is one more vector. Determinant, these three vectors are coplanar. That's why x minus 1, y minus 0, z plus 1. Next. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 or you are doing 1 minus 3 also no problem. 3 minus 1, next 2 minus 0, 2 plus 1, next 1 minus 2, 3. Determinant is equal to 0, you will get the plane equation. And one more question, he is asking, show that the two lines are coplanar. These are the two lines. The first line equation is given as, x plus 1 divided by 3 is equal to y plus 3 divided by 5 is equal to z plus 5 divided by 7 that is one line. Next one is given as x minus 2 divided by 1 is equal to y minus 4 divided by 4 is equal to z minus 6 divided by 7. First of all he is asking to find the equation these two lines are coplanar. Two lines are coplanar that we have to show. First line passing through the point minus 1 comma minus 3 comma minus 5 with direction ratios 3, 5, 7. Second line is passing through the point 2 comma 4 comma 6 with direction ratios 1, 4, 7. Now observe here join these two points you will get one vector that is a b bar now this is one vector 3i plus 5j plus 7k and this is one more vector i plus 4j plus 7k 1 2 3 these three vectors are coplanar that's why box is equals to 0 we have to get that's why 2 plus 1 4 plus 3 6 plus 5, the next one is 3, 5, 7, next 1, 4, 7. If this value we got 0, then we can say those two lines lie on the same plane. Suppose he is asking to find the equation of the plane containing the two lines. Let us say here a point P, X, Y, Z. That is the point P, X, Y, Z. Because for finding the plane equation, we are taking a general point on the plane. Now, this is one vector, A, P bar. Now observe, this vector, A, P bar. This vector, A, P bar. And this is one vector. And this is one more vector. These three vectors are coplanar. That's why determinant is equal to 0. Then what we will get? X plus 1. Next y plus 3, z plus 5, right? Next vector is 3, 5, 7, 1, 4, 7. Nothing here in place of 2, 4, 6. You can write x, y, z. So we will get the plane equation. Sir, why you are taking this point only? Can I take this point? Yes, you can take that point also. Then we will get x minus 2, y minus 4, z minus 6, next this vector is 1, 4, 7, i plus 4, j plus 7, k. 
This vector is 3i plus 5j plus 7k. This determinant is equal to 0. You will get the plane equation. So that is the way of proceeding this particular question. So another question you can see. So lines given in unsymmetrical form. This is the line equation given. x is equal to ay plus b. And next one is z is equal to cy plus d. These are the two lines given. That only sometimes they will give in this way. x minus ay minus b is equal to 0. That is equal to z minus cy minus d. Convert that line equation into symmetrical form of a line equation. Actually, what is the meaning for that? So, they have given two plane equations. They have given two plane equations. Observe. Two plane equations given. Those are two planes intersection. Those are two planes intersection is a line or not? That line equation. Two planes given means these are two planes given. Those are two planes intersection is a line. That line equation we have to find out in symmetric form. But how to find out that line equation in symmetric form? You can observe the given line equations. X minus B divided by A is equal to Y. Whereas here Z minus D divided by C is equal to Y. Now equate both. You will get X minus B divided by A is equal to Y is equal to Z minus D divided by C. That I can write it as x minus b divided by a is equals to y minus 0 divided by 1 is equals to z minus d divided by c. This line is passing through the point b comma 0 comma d. Passing through the point b comma 0 comma d. And direction ratios are given by a comma 1 comma c. Okay. So, little bit difficult way of doing the other question. This is the particular question. The question is given here. x minus y plus 2z minus 5 is equal to 0. That is equal to 3x plus y plus z minus 6. He is asking to find the equation of this line in symmetric form. Observe here. So here the information is given. Two planes are given. So this is one plane, this is one plane has a normal, right? Similarly, this plane also has a normal, right? This plane has a normal, this plane also has a normal. Now tell me, these are two normals, these are two normals, this is one plane, right? Has a normal, this is another plane has a normal. Now these two normals the cross product is my finger or not? These two normals. Because for this plane this is the normal. For this plane this is the normal. This pen is the normal. These two normals cross product is my finger. Observe my finger. My finger is along the line of intersection of two planes or not? You see for the two planes this is the line. Along this line, the vector is my finger. So that's why this plane normal is n1 bar. And this plane normal is n2 bar. These two normals cross product is along the line. There ends the matter. So that's why the first plane equation normal is i minus j plus 2k. And the second plane has a normal 3i plus j plus k. Now, these are two cross product. What about the cross product of those two? i, j, k, 1, minus 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. So, that is given by i into minus 1, minus 2, minus j into 1, minus 6, plus k into 1, plus 3. That is nothing but minus 3i plus 5j plus 4k. That means we got a vector along the line. We got a vector along the line. That vector is minus 3i plus 5j plus 6k. 4k is 
along the line of intersection of two planes along the line of intersection of two planes we got a vector that vector direction ratio sir minus 3 5 4 sir so, for finding the plane equation we require x minus x1 by a is equal to y minus y1 by b is equals to z minus z1 by c but how to find out x1 y1 z1 values for that what we are going to do is take z is equal to 0 not only z is equal to 0 you can take y is equal to 0 you can take x is equal to 0 right so take z is equal to 0 then what happens x minus y is equals to 5 there also take z is equal to 0 3x plus y is equals to 6 here z is equal to 0 then x minus y is equal to 5 here also z is equal to 0 3x plus y is equal to 6 solve these two equations we will get 4x is equals to 11 therefore we got x is equal to 11 by 4 x value substitute there you will get 11 by 4 minus 5 is equals to y therefore we are getting the value of y is equal to minus 9 by 4 right so we got the point also what is the point x minus x1 by minus 3 is equals to y minus minus 9 by 4 by 5 is equals to z minus 0 divided by 4 this is the required line equation so that is the way of converting unsymmetrical form of a line equation into a symmetrical form okay so you can take y is equal to 0 also x is equal to 0 also you will get the line equation but it looks like as a different line equation lines appears as a different one but all these are same line equation okay so this is another question given find the coordinates of a point at a distance of 7 units from a 2 comma minus 3 comma 4 measured parallel to the line so what is the meaning here find the coordinates of a point at a distance of 7 units you go from this point at a distance of 7 units from this point at a distance of 7 units we have to find out the coordinates of this point we have to measure along this line that line equation is given as x minus 1 divided by 2 is equals to y minus 2 divided by 3 is equals to z plus 3 divided by 6 right so observe here from a point a 2 comma minus 3 comma 4 at a distance of 7 units we have to find out this particular point this distance is given as 7 why we are moving in this way only we have to measure along this line that means this line direction ratios also same 2 3 6 tell me what is the equation of this line that line equation is x minus 2 divided by 2 is equals to y plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to z minus 4 divided by 6 say that is equals to lambda right now 2 lambda plus 2 comma 3 lambda minus 3 comma 6 lambda plus 4 this is a point this is that particular point distance between these two points is given as 7 now what about the distance between these two points distance between those two points is given as 7 once again so we have to find out a point on this a distance of 7 units measured along this line with the direction ratios 2 3 6 ok so now difference of these two vectors we got this vector b and this vector also we got find out a b bar a b bar is equal to 2 lambda plus 2 minus 2 that's why it becomes a 2 lambda 3 lambda minus 3 plus 3 that becomes a 3 lambda 
6 lambda plus 4 minus 4 that becomes 6 lambda. Right? Now, that with this vector we got 2 lambda plus 3 lambda plus 6 lambda. Okay? Now, modulus is what happened? This magnitude of this vector is square root of 2 lambda whole square plus 3 lambda whole square plus 6 lambda whole square is equal to 7. So, 2 minus 3 4 So, distance we got this one. Now, the simplification is 4 lambda square plus 9 lambda square plus 36 lambda square is equals to 49. Therefore, lambda value is equal to plus or minus 1. So, what is the meaning for that? Why we are getting two values of lambda? Because lambda value, one substitute there, what happens? 4, 0, one substitute there, 10, one point possible. Lambda value minus 1 substitute, yes. From this point, at a distance of 7 units, this side also, another point is possible. That point you will get if you put lambda is equal to minus 1. So, we are getting 2 points, okay. So, that is the another question discussion. So, one more question here. He is saying find the distance of the point. Find the distance of the point 0, 1, minus 1 from the plane from the plane x plus y plus z is equal to 3. Sir, what is this? Sir, so easy. From a point on to this plane, he is asking distance. He is not asking this distance. Find the distance of the point 0, 1, minus 1 from the plane measured parallel to the line you have to measure the in such a way you know, this distance we have to find out from a point onto this plane we have to find out this distance why this distance we have to measure along a line whose direction ratios are We have to measure along a line whose direction ratios are 2, 3, 6. Okay, now come on tell me what is the equation of this line. This line equation is x minus 0 divided by 2 is equals to y minus 1 divided by 3 is equals to z plus 1 divided by 6. Say that is equals to lambda. We got this line equation. Any point on this line is of the form 2 lambda. 3 lambda plus 1 comma 6 lambda minus 1. This is a point on the line. Anywhere you can take. This point I am taking this one. Now this point is there on the plane or not. Substitute this point in the plane equation. Then you will get 2 lambda plus 3 lambda plus 1 plus 6 lambda minus 1 is equal to 3. Now plus 1 minus 1 cancel we are getting 11 lambda is equals to 3 therefore lambda value is equal to 3 by 11 so we got the value of lambda once we got the value of lambda means we got this point now we can find out distance between two points or not so that is the discussion regarding applications on different types of models in related to line and plane okay so bye bye See you.